Welcome everybody to How Fast Will It Go and today we're dealing with the 2019 Zenvo TSR S now this has 1624 horsepower 1119 pounds feet of torque from its 6.2 litre twin supercharged V8 engine the car itself now weighs 3249 pounds has all wheel drive and it can now do not 60 in 1.749 seconds and 0 to 103.2 Four or five seconds. So, uh, yeah, we used this in the previous Forza Horizon game where it managed a speed of 264 miles an hour. But not only do we have a longer uh, highway to deal with on this game, but we have 160 horsepower extra in this car. So, I do believe this will be quicker. How much quicker, we'll have to see. But, yeah, let's get out there and uh, find out. Also, reduce the aerodynamic forces on that rear wing. So, some of it's still there, but nowhere near as much, which will also help. Yeah, this is easily one of the most powerful uh, cars on this game, where its stock engine can get up to in terms of horsepower. Obviously, it was a incredibly powerful to start with, but yeah, there we passed the original car, the car in the previous game. So that's 272. We got up there remarkably quick, 273, and we waffled for a little bit, and then we're already up to there. 273. Any more? We are right on the rev limit, so we might well not be able to. The fact is, it's able to hold the speed and still handle you know, going in and out of traffic and going around corners remarkably well. Which just shows, even with the downforce reduced on that rear wing, it's still generating a lot of downforce. Imagine the kind of speed it would get up to if it was removed, but you can't do that far, sadly. It was 276, but that was with the downhill slope there, so... Yeah, and as you can see, as soon as we get back onto the level, it reduces. Oh, actually, we got 274 there. I'm counting it. So that is, yeah, 10 mile an hour quicker than the car on the previous game, which is quite a decent amount, to be honest, for only an extra 160 horsepower. And uh, yeah, that means we were able to match the light. Oh no, we don't match anyone. We're the first car to just end at 274 miles an hour, coming right in between the Ferrari J50 and the Toyota Celica SSI, and ahead of the MG X Power SVR, TVR Cerberus B12, Mercedes AMG One, and the DMC DeLorean. But we're still a massive 12 mile an hour behind the Jaguar D-Type, which is still at the top of the leaderboard and 10 mile an hour behind the McLaren F1 and 8 mile an hour behind the Noble M400 but still for a car that has you know that giant rear wing at the uh, back there and a you know, decent sized splitter at the front that's in a remarkable amount of speed and uh, yeah obviously with more than 1600 horsepower that is kind of inevitable but you know you still got to overcome the aerodynamic forces that are going on on this car so uh, yeah, and it accelerates like a speeding bullet. Quite frankly, it was up to 270 miles an hour before we even before I even knew it. And uh, yeah, handles brilliantly, and that acceleration to 60 into 100 is mind blowing. Less than 1.7 and a half seconds, and uh, yeah, it's already up to 60 miles an hour, which is in incredible, quite frankly. So uh, yeah, that is a really really decent speed and gets it comfortably into the top 10, only by a mile an hour, but. There's not many cars that so far have gone quicker than this, so yeah, far more have gone slower. Nonetheless, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.